Hello YouTube. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to turn System Restore on at or off in Windows 7 or Vista. It works the same in both. Uh, it's relatively simple to do. I just click Start or Circle. Uh, come up here to my com or to Computer. Right click Computer. Left click Properties. You'll get this screen. Over on the left hand side you'll see System Protection. So left click it. And in the middle area here, you'll see a list of all your hard drives. Um, more than likely, they'll all say on. Now, like my whatever drive is just miscellaneous stuff. My Windows XP drive, externals, software. I turned all those off. Uh, but I left the one on for the operating system itself. And if you wanted to turn it off to save space, uh, you'd click configure. And at the top, you see your three options. The very last one is turn off system protection. So just put a little dot in the circle and hit apply. And it'll ask you if you're sure you want to turn it off. Click yes. And then hit OK. As you can see it's off. If you want it on, it's just the re same thing. Just configure. Now restore system settings in previous versions of files. That's the one I use. Uh, if you have to do a complete restore, I'm mean, not a restore, a, uh, a uh, recovery or whatever you call this thing, um, you can restore your desktop settings, your your uh, sidebar, uh, your colors, you know, if you had different color schemes, uh, anything, or you can just click restore versions of files. A lot of the times, Windows updates will actually screw up your computer. Uh, so, just a word of warning, once updates come out, I would probably wait a week or two before you get them or even a month. Most updates will work, but some, especially the drivers that Microsoft puts out, a lot of times that'll, that'll blue screen your computer. Uh, so I would definitely not get drivers. I would go to the manufacturer for those. Uh, but that's how you turn System Restore on. Uh, I use the middle one. So I'll just hit Apply and OK, and it's back on. Okay, YouTube, hope that helps somebody out. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to learn how to do anything, as always, leave a comment or email me at whotookthenames2000 at gmail.com. All right, thanks. Have a good one, YouTube.